Hello there. Uh, I've just recently acquired this percussion pistol and uh, it's uh, not in fantastic shape. Um, obviously not holding at all on any of the notches. It does feel like there's a spring in there but um, the uh, barrel's also frozen so we'll uh, just open it up and have a look. Replacement spring doesn't fit that well. This is a replacement screw. So trigger return spring missing. Trigger looks a bit grim. Notches on there are pretty much non-existent. Rusted and expanded, can't get it past the slot. Okay. Uh, right, well, let's try and get the trigger guard off. Uh, there's a crack there as well. Probably caused by that replacement screw. Mm. That looks like it's been repaired. Yes, yeah, someone's added material to that. Um, might still be able to use that though. Uh, may have to add material to the uh, hammer. Yeah, someone's had a go at this, trying to repair it themselves. Um, yeah, you can see the added material. Now it's a shame that the panels don't, one of the panels doesn't come off on this because it's going to be difficult to get the geometry back. Um, and 
this is broken that's probably why the springs such a bad fit so uh, we've got quite a few problems here so I'm going to attempt to get the barrel off this pistol now I've um, soaked the barrel in uh, some um, thin oil penetrating oil and I'm going to use the spanner here to try and get it off Okay, that is well and truly on there. I'm gonna have to try something else. Use the old iced water trick, um, so I'm going to heat up around the barrel end there and uh, dunk it in ice cold water, and hopefully that will break whatever's holding it on there, all the rust. game <clears throat> got it I think I've got it oh, no. No. 
Bueno, eso. Vale, vale, vale. Right, here we are, once again. Got you, yeah. God damn. You know, I just had to blast it with heat. I don't like doing it, but... God. There we go. is pretty grungy in there. Well, there we are. My goodness, it's off. Now, because I can't get this panel off on this particular pistol, what I'm going to have to do is make a jig um, so that I can put the uh, hammer and the trigger in place um, and then work on it so I can see what uh, all the geometry should be. So I've got this piece of uh, scrap uh, metal here and I'm going to transfer punch the holes for the um, hammer and then the trigger. Okay, so I've uh, drilled and tapped my hole for the hammer and I've set this now on this piece of metal um, with drill bit holding it in place and I've set the top of the that piece of metal to the top of the nipple there so that when the, the gun is at rest um, I know I'll have enough on it for the hammer to reach the nipple and fire the cap so I'm just going to put the mark for the trigger pin in place now All that. So I've got my jig set up now. Um, that's screwed into the plate there, and that's just uh, the drill bit I used to drill the hole, holding that in place. So now, um, when the that uh, heel of the hammer nose sits there, I know that it's going to be contacting the top of the um, nipple, um, and I can simulate what's happening with the lock inside the gun so 
there's a notch there I think that's the remnants of half and then we'll need one further down for full so this uh, this trigger actually looks long enough I don't think I think I just need to file that down um, <clears throat> but I may be able to get away with just filing these um, and, and not adding any further material that does need cleaning up but um, yeah I'll see how that goes um, now what I've done is I, I, was, I wasn't really happy with trying to fudge this um, back in there as it was so I've welded it up I've welded this up um, back up and now I'm, I'm going to cut new see a uh, new um, uh, four and a half clock notches um, so we'll get it back on the jig and have a look at that so I think I've got the uh, half cock sorted now um, that's slipping in there and it's a good fit that's that's good I, that won't come out of there I don't think um, so now I need to set somewhere full cock and it seems to be just there so I'm gonna cut in a, a, a full there so now I've got the full cock notch um, filed in there so I'll see if it runs I've uh, gone ahead and welded up where it was broken there so I need to cut a V into there I'm going to use a um, sort of this knife uh, shaped uh, file just to cut the V in there and we're also going to need a trigger return spring okay so I've got this spring it, it's just not quite right I'm going to try and just bend the tip up just a little bit which hopefully will will make it um, uh, contact better with the uh, end of the hammer I think that's that's all I wanted to do is uh, just give it a bit more um, now I will retemper that spring so I've got the pistol roughly back together now and um, it does run so it goes into half it won't come off and it holds on full um, so now I think the thing to do is get it clean up and uh, all back together. So I've got the pistol cleaned and it's ready to put back together. Now I have hardened both the trigger and the hammer.
so I've got the pistol all back together now and it's a bit rough and ready but it's a lot better than it was uh, so we've freed off the barrel and repaired the action um, I've reshaped these screws to um, give it a more um, uh, authentic look as those um, machine screws just weren't right um, I've hardened that screw and um, put new screws in for the grip, filled those holes and, and, and got new screws for them so um, yeah it's all back together and I hope you've enjoyed watching this repair video if you have please give it a big thumbs up and also consider subscribing thanks for watching